Uh, let's start with rhythmical motifs. If you were to take just a very simple motif as in quarter note to eighth note. So do, do, dot. Now, um, if, for example, I had a student come to me um, and played in a way where they were playing a lot of notes, perhaps too many notes, and their phrases, ideas were turning to run on sentences. They weren't breathing and letting the music have the spaciousness that it really needs. Um, I might suggest that they try playing this rhythmical motif uh, in, in, in this instance, quarter note two eighth. So let's just take a blues progression, for example, and what I would tell them is play that rhythmical motif um, initially on the beginning of the first bar, third bar, fifth bar, seventh bar, ninth bar, eleventh bar. So it might sound like one, two, two, one, two, three. So um, you could then progress onto playing that motif maybe every bar and having it go through the changes. So it might sound, if you were to do it at uh, the beginning of every bar, it would sound like one, two, two, come on, two, three. Maybe leave this one out. Leave this one out. And um, lo and behold, the person that was overplaying now suddenly is leaving space. They're swinging. They're playing something where one idea leads logically to the next. And I got to tell you, from a rhythm player's perspective, that's a, that's a huge thing. 